Hey guys, Dirty here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to Creative Wednesday on which we tackle five filmmaking or video editing tricks. And today we're bringing back the Cinecam classics, the OGs, five fast and easy effects in Premiere Pro. Now I haven't been doing them for a long time because we have a second channel purely dedicated to Premiere Pro. I'll leave a link to the Premiere Basics channel in the description down below. But today the spotlight is on me guys and MSI sponsored me their brand new creative creator z16 laptop and oh it's a beautiful beast their slogan for the new series is tech meets aesthetics and the z16 has a beautiful cnc design with incredible power inside now i love how thin the laptop is and the tight minimalistic design and that's where the tech meets the aesthetics so i wanted to try out some really cool premiere pro effects that you probably didn't know about before so without further ado let's fire up adobe premiere pro it was already fired up. And we're going to start off super easy with a very cool color grading hack. Start by duplicating your clip in a timeline and throw the invert effect onto the top layer. Then from the channel menu, you can pick something different, like for example, blue. If we then change the blending mode of the clip to overlay, we get that typical Instagram filter look. Now, if, it, if it's too hard, you can just decrease the opacity. Having it set to 50% looks good. And the great thing is that you can also try out different channel modes from the invert effect. Effect. Setting it to red gives a more warm tone. The U kind of desaturates the shot and makes the blue a lot more deeper. The quadrature chrominance is also really cool. So go ahead and play with the other channels and see what other looks that you can create. Now I'm gonna scatter some more information about the Z16 throughout the entire video. And let's start off by looking at the specs. They are packed with the brand new RTX 3060 graphics card, the latest Intel 11 generation 8 core CPU and a beautiful 16 inch display at a 16 to 10 golden ratio, which looks really great and gives you some more space to work in. But what's really amazing is the true pixel display giving you 120 hertz refresh rate and 100% coverage of the DCI P3 color space. It has a delta E of under 2, which is the calibration and under 2 in plain English means it's super good. So this laptop is specifically built for creative tasks like video editing, but if you like to play games, this laptop is also perfect for that, of course. Now to give you a better sense of the performance, it comes very close to the desktops that we have here in the office. I can edit red raw 5k resolution in real time, even when stacking clips, applying lumetri and other effects, so I can take my work with me on the go without sacrificing on performance. Alright, now let's check out the next effect that I have for you guys, and that is a glitch displacement. So we can start off by creating these white rectangles on top of a clip. Just place them out randomly. Once done, move that graphics layer to a track higher and duplicate your clip or a portion of it. Next, look for the track matte key effect and place that onto the duplicates. From its settings, you want to choose video tree or the track on which you have the rectangles on. And then it's just a matter of offsetting the position of the duplicates clip and you got yourself a block displacement. Now, very cool is if you would animate that. And ideally, once you're done with the keyframing, you select everything and choose temporal interpolation hold. And this way, the animation jumps from each keyframe to another, which is more glitchy. But now comes the cool thing. We can make this more organic by grouping the three layers together in a nested sequence and then doing the exact same thing. Duplicate the bottom clip, create new rectangles, apply the track mat to the nested sequence, animate its position with the hold keyframes, and if you like, you can do this whole process again and again and again for as much as you like. So that's gonna give you something like this. But if you're going for that real glitch look, you can also add the VR chromatic aberration effect to the middle clip. So deselect auto VR and set the frame layout to stereoscopic over under. Then change the aberration red, green or blue to your likings. And if you would like to have this aberration on every distortion, then go back into the nested sequence, add the effect to the middle clip there as well, but that is up to you. Here is the final glitch effect, which looks really cool and and you can also use this as a transition if you prefer. And by the way, guys, we are working here with 4K clips and everything goes in real time just to give you an idea of the laptop's performance. Premiere Pro effect number three, which is kind of similar to the first one, but it has a different purpose and of course, a whole different look. We're going to duplicate our clip and add the invert effect to the top one, then change the blending mode to difference. You see, I told you it was different. 
that's gonna give us this very interesting look. Now, if we change the inverse channel to lightness, we get a black and white image with hard edges. But the looks are very unique and that is something that you can play with. For instance, just cut to a beat and cut between these effects. Or you can add the crop effect to it and animate one of its properties to get something like this. Pretty cool, uh, definitely for music videos. Now I hear you ask, Jordi, it's a laptop, what about the battery? Well, it's a 90 watt hour battery inside, giving you about two hours of juice while editing. But that comes from my personal testing, not what MSI advertises, which I think is not bad considering the high-end hardware inside. For me, that's enough. I like the portability when traveling, quickly check some stuff on the go, and edit on the evening when it's plugged in. It's a very strong aluminum body as well, apparently military grade so uh, I can just go ahead and just kind of like wear this as a bulletproof vest now that's a joke guys I wouldn't do that oh yeah it supports the latest Wi-Fi 6e so that is great as well all right fast and easy effect number four cut a piece off your clip and duplicate it to the right then right click on that clip and choose speed duration check reverse speed and hit ok then duplicate that piece again and if you'd like you can trim it out so what we have now is our shot going in reverse and then back to normal. It's not fancy, but I do like the idea. So what's left is to make it fancy. Start off by nesting the reverse clip. And this way we can add a time remapping to it, making it go faster. And I'm going to do the same thing for the clip that follows, just to speed things up, make it more dynamic. And finally, I'm going to add an adjustment layer on top and drag the lens distortion effect to it. Now from its properties, I'm going to animate the curvature from zero to around minus 25 and back to zero. And this adds a little bump distortion to the reverse, making it very fancy. Anyways, this brings us to the last effect, which is going to be for titles and text. Now, the idea is to create a long drop shadow, which is not possible in Premiere, but I see that as a challenge. You know, years ago, I even created a 3D text inside Premiere. I know, in Premiere. All right, type your text and duplicate the graphics layer. On the bottom clip, we're going to add the directional blur effect. Increase the blur length and the direction, which is already going to give you that long shadow. But to fine tune that some more, we're going to push our text layer a track higher and duplicate the shadow. For the top shadow, you want to decrease the blur length a bit, which is going to make it thicker around the letters. Now select both shadow layers and nest them together. On that nested sequence, we're going to draw a mask through the inside of the letters so that we can cut off the the blur from the top and uh well that's it that's how you can create a long shadow inside premiere pro all right thank you so much for watching guys thank you msi for the support and the amazing creator z16 don't forget to check out the link in the description down below for all of the information and as always stay creative